Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. So I was about to do some uh, uh, UI customization on my 3ds Max, so I thought I might as well record it and share it with you guys. So the first thing I'd like to do is to dock my graphite toolbar at the bottom and put my main toolbar underneath it. The next thing I would like to change is on the uh, keyboard shortcut. So I would just go to custom UI and uh, search for maximize. So I don't like it at all W. I usually uh, like it at spacebar. So just assign it. I also like to change my effect pivot tool. So effect pivot only mode. I like it at Alt Control Shift Q. And another uh, thing, another tool that I find myself using quite a lot is uh, points. Uh, point. Why isn't it showing me? Okay, there it goes. So I would usually set it at Control Alt Shift P. So the next thing I like to set up is my quads. I usually use use the custom quad that comes with 3ds max which is set at shift control right mouse button so let's go ahead I will uh, usually want my command panel settings so so command panel toggle show main toolbar toggle mouse effect tools then uh, my time slider and drag bar uh, for this one I like all my customization options so custom UI and default feature oh. preferences customizing UI Where did it go? It's somewhere in there. There, yeah, customize user interface and unit setup. I usually put a separate in between uh, for this one I would like to set up some of the tools that I find myself uh, frequently using like array uh, like listers create animation from The one is uh, create still image. It's somewhere in here. There. So I still have uh, one quads left. Usually I set up all my uh, menus like edit tools and all those stuff, and I just like to hide my menu bar. It, this gives me a little bit more space to work with. So I'm not gonna show it here. I hope you can uh, do it by yourself. And another thing I like to change is the colors. So for the 12 field grid, I usually like it at black. It's uh, less distracting. And I also like to change my grid color, which is under grid. And I set it by intensity at 55%. So if you just click on your viewport, you'll see it updating. So yeah that's basically it so I will show you what are those uh, uh, UI elements that I just set for so if I go to my quad I can take off my command panel I use my main toolbar a lot change with my time slider or track bar so right now if I pay uh, I press ctrl X it will take me to expert mode and I would like to bring my main toolbar back so usually this is the UI that I use for all my modeling stuff 
for animation and uh, texturing I might use a different one and if I come up with anything I'll try to post it on YouTube now uh, at this point uh, you might want to save your UI so just save custom UI scheme just give it a name and save it uh, so another thing you can do is you can just save this file as a max dot as a max start so whenever you restart your max or uh, open up a new max it will automatically uh, read the settings and uh, uh, you know UI placement from this file and try to give you that so that is basically it I hope this has been helpful to you I uh, wish to see you very soon thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe